future for Maggie's is is great because there are people who would have questioned it 18 years ago. There are there are people who would have said, oh, why, why is that necessary? Why why is that important? And the great thing is, as Richard said, doctors are understanding the enormous value to them of this partnership. So it's being driven by them. It's being driven by Charles and everyone else connected to Maggie who are pushing her legacy forward and forward and forward. And it seems to me that you can't go you can't go wrong with the the knowledge that it's not just about the physical illness itself, it's about the attitude, it's about the healing the other parts of you and healing your family around you. And then what's amazing is that I mean we always talk about comic relief as putting the fun into fundraising. And one of the things about Maggie's is it is a fun idea. Yeah. I mean, that is completely crucial. You could be very honest about all the clinical need, but it's the fun of having a bizarre and fabulous building right next door to an NHS building designed by an amazing architect. It's such a good idea. Um, I'm trying to think of the version from Field of Dreams. Uh, not if you build it, they will come, but if you say you're going to build it they will yeah. contribute. It's fundamentally, it's just such a good idea and, um, and such ideas will thrive and I'm sure that um, the money will come. It's interesting though that and there's nothing in life which we do which if we'd known how long it was going to take we would have ever done it. No. And I'm sure that's true for every single Maggie's where people think, oh yeah, I'll do a sketch. It'll look a bit like a tree house. Um, and then it's three whole years of your life. So, um, you know, my, all my commendation for doing something so huge, but fundamentally, it's such a crisp, good, wonderful idea. And they, and they go forward.